Hi guys, it's Adam from Team Workout Movement and today I'll show you a great way how you can make your chest grow much faster. Just to clarify, the process of growing the chest isn't solely determined by the exercises you do in the gym, but also the amount of rest you get for the muscle to regenerate and also your diet which supplies you with the nutrients which your body needs for growth. But in this video I'll only talk about the exercises and that's one part of this free which will be in the gym. So let's begin. The first mistake that people do is that they don't focus on the muscles which they want to train. So as an example, you can do all the chest exercises, push-ups, dips, bench press, but if you don't focus on the muscle which you want to train, so the chest, you might just be using your shoulders or your traps and not train that chest at all. Many people in the gym which I train have the problem with this and they really have to develop this mind-muscle connection so they'll be able to activate the muscles when they desire it. So how to do it? Well, the only way how you can get this my muscle connection is maybe start with those light weights, try to do the exercise with it, and you're really trying to find out the way when you will feel that muscle contracting. If you feel it, that's great, and you have developed this my muscle connection. If you don't, you have to try a bit more, and really after time you will get it that you will feel how the muscle is getting activated, and you will be able to control the tension which is coming on the muscle and separate it from the other ones like those shoulders or those traps. The second thing is that people, because of the bad habits of our generation, tend to shrug their shoulders forward, so like this. It's caused by, you know, typing, all these things, so we tend to shrug those shoulders forward, and because it's really comfortable, we tend to put this movement even while exercising. So, may it be a push-up, may it be a dip, in all these movements, if you shrug those shoulders, the tension won't go onto the chest, but it will go onto shoulders and your traps. So in order to avoid it, you really have to straighten yourself up, really pull those shoulders down and back, straightening those traps, and from there you will get this ideal position. So again guys, sh shoulders, really push them back, and while doing all these exercises for the chest, you will have to utilize this movement and really think about it. Of course, the previous point also comes intact here, because you'll have to feel the muscle which you are using, and also think about the way how you are pulling those shoulders back in order to have this perfect posture. And for last guys, the diversity of your workouts. Now when I come to the gym, I see many people do the same thing all over again each week, doing the same workouts, for example, for their chest. It might be some kind of bench press, maybe some push-ups, dips, but all around, it's always the same. So really try to implement many other exercises, learn new exercises for their chest, so you could put more variety into your workouts. Now, it's great because the muscle there will be always a bit different and therefore the muscle won't get used to it and therefore the tension won't be limited. So guys, implement the diversity into your workouts so that you can much more effective. Now here are some examples of the exercises you can do. So there are many of them. You can, for example, do even like flies. Maybe you can do this dumbbell curl, which I'm showing you here. And also there are different variations of push-ups, which you can also do. So to conclude everything, guys, remember on that mind-muscle connection, because you'll have to feel the muscle that is contracting, try to squeeze it and try to develop those pathways so you really know that the muscle is getting contracting and you have the tension there. Then, again, those shoulders, don't shrug them forward, always straighten yourself up while doing each exercise. This only doesn't go for the chest, but also in other exercises, like those biceps, triceps, basically everything which is in the upper body. Also, it goes a little with your legs. So, important point, which you will implement to almost every one of your workouts. And for last, really, that variety implemented there, so you don't do the same thing over and over again each week after week. Okay guys, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask me in the comment section down below because I always answer and I can always make a video about the topic which you want to have me cover. And if you enjoyed, leave that like, share and subscribe. And this will be all from me for today. So thank you very much for watching and bye.